नमस्ते इन कंटिन्यूएशन टू आवर सीरीज ऑन मर्क्यूरी देर इज वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट आई विल वॉन्ट टू डिस्कस एंड दैट इज द कनेक्शन ऑफ मर्क्यूरी विथ वीनस वी जनरली लुक एट द कनेक्शन ऑफ मर्क्यूरी विथ रिगार्ड टू सन एज वी नो दैट मर्क्यूरी कैन ओनली बी एट मैक्सिम वन हाउस अवे फ्रॉम सन राइट सो आई दर मर्क्यूरी विथ सन और इन दिल्थ हाउस टू सन और इन दकेंड हाउस टू सन बट अनादर प्लान इज द प्लान वीनस विच कैन बी एट एनी कंडीशन टू हाउस इज अवे फ्रॉम सन With sun, second house from sun, third house from sun, eleventh house from sun, twelfth house from sun. These are the situations where Venus can be in. Now, this Venus and Mercury, if you look at it through my eyes, are the two aspects of the sun personality. Ah, uh, we imagine, uh, not not imagine. we think that uh, moon is the significator for mother and venus is the significator for spouse this is actually wrong for someone born in the day time sun is the significator for father and venus is the significator of mother whereas the one who is born in the night time saturn is the signification of father and moon have the signification of mother so the basic thing that i want to talk about right now is the connection between mercury and venus so venus can either be in same rashi with venus second rashi from venus third rashi from venus and in very rare case fourth house from Mercury can be on the twelfth house from Venus, eleventh house from Venus, or in the far-fetched maximum case, tenth house from Venus. <clears throat> Now, to understand it, understand that Venus is like this analogy is more used in Nadi astrology. That Venus is the Venus signifies Lakshmi, the goddess of blessing. this makes venus very important lakshmi or better known as shri is the one who blesses you so the position placement of venus is very crucial if we want to understand if we want to analyze how blessed a person is right and like that we will do that we will learn when we learn about venus in the current thing mercury is the significator for or mercury signifies vishnu the counterpart of lakshmi lakshmi serves vishnu though serves is a like a, not not a appropriate word to use still so lakshmi serves vishnu take it as uh, intelligence and blessing so blessing whatever one may get can only be beneficial if someone have the proper intelligence to use it if someone is born in a good family resourceful family rich family have a loving and caring parents he can only use it to his benefit maximum maximize his benefit when he uses his mind otherwise you may have seen many cases where the person despite being born in a very good setting have lost all his blessings and leading a miserable life to avoid this it is very essential that venus and mercury have a good relationship when venus and mercury are together it is the connection of vishnu and lakshmi the person is blessed and also intelligent in this particular scenario the person will be able to use all the blessings that he have got 
for his benefit using his intelligence and through his intelligence and foresight he will be able to make himself more blessed in life as well there is no doubt about it there should be no uh, like dilemma in understanding this particular fact if someone is intelligent even if they are not blessed they will be able to lead a good life they will be able to lead a good life if someone is blessed and also intelligent then they have a very fantastic beautiful life if someone is blessed but not intelligent he is like a bad child who will destroy everything that his fathers and forefathers have given him right so venus and mercury together is a very good combination and in the case when they are conjoined it is better if both of them are well placed now if venus or mercury is debilitated that doesn't mean that they are not well placed it still means that they are well placed debilitation is only weakness and the weakness that comes through debilitation can be easily remedied through remedial measures or even if one don't do remedial measure it is just a matter of time you know the fructification age of plant uh sun fructifies at the age of 24 moon fructifies at the age of uh, sorry sun fructifies at the age of 22 moon fructifies at the age of 24 mars uh, fructification at the age of 28 venus fructification at the age of 27 mercury according to me fructifies at the age of 25 jupiter uh, fructifies at the age of 16 um uh, uh, yeah saturn fructifies at the age of 35 and yeah rahu fructifies at the age of 43 and ketu fructifies at the age of 48 i think i have covered all the planets if not just ask it to me in the comments below right so after one has crossed this age of fructification for the planet and for this particular purpose for the technique that i am going to tell you i will take the fructification age of jupiter not to be 16 years but to be 30 second year of life after the planet have fructified the result of debilitation debilitation etc start vanishing and the person start getting good result as with time as the person have lived his life the weakness of the planet is fading and with experience and learnings that one gets by living the life the result of debilitation is almost gone the basic point is when venus and mercury are together you don't take them to be bad it is not all this bad right other conditions you need to check the navamsha the aspects the other conditions etc the best situation venus mercury together person is blessed and person also have to intelligence to properly use the blessing and increase it increase the blessing it is like you getting a money investing it at a good point also spending a little bit of it getting good return good return on investment okay now venus mercury 212 to each other and see the thing that i am talking about in this series it is not a bookish knowledge that i am talking about let, let me be very honest with you it is experience based right so no book no teacher no author will tell you about how this works okay these are the few things you know this i will say experience nugget see i will not say it research many people you know they 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 develop a particular thing that you know like the first video that we did mercury indicates intelligence and how do you see uh, intelligence if any planet is second house 12th house 6th house 8th house from mercury you are not thinking well in the areas related to that planet some people may call it research may it is their standard of research i call it tip astrological tip okay this particular thing that i am doing i am giving you experience tip right i am giving an experience based tip that this is what i have seen and a experience based tip is good only when the person is first of all of practicing astrology if you are not looking at a horoscope what is your experience god knows 
Another thing is if person is using mathematically accurate decisions, you know, or mathematically accurate settings, right? Someone using an Arana's mathematical calculation to calculate a chart, producing uh, producing some uh, observations. The best word that I can use, observations based on that is uh, as useless as anything else, right? Observation is what I'm talking about. My own observation about things, not written in books. This comes through practice, and I am someone who believes in more than eighty percent applicability, and I test a principle for more than like you know, like for quite a long time before finally settling down on it that now it is okay to be taught or to be talked about. Coming back to my point. <clears throat> People having Venus, Mercury, 212 in the horoscope, either Venus in the second house from Mercury or Mercury in the 12th house from Venus, either ways, or Venus in the 12th house from Mercury. In this particular scenario, the person may be blessed. Blessing is dependent on the condition of Venus. I have already told. The person may be blessed, the person can be blessed, but his intelligence is not supporting that blessing. Are you getting my word? His intelligence, which is Mercury, is not supporting that because Mercury is in the 12th house or when, Mer when Venus is in the second house, Mercury is in the 12th house. The person is blessed by birth, say having a good family, having good resources, rich family, etc. But his intelligence, Mercury in the 12th house, is not supporting that. The person is ignorant, doesn't know how to do things. And due to his foolishness, wrong decision, bad company, adamancy, and all these things will destroy all the blessings and will make his life miserable. Research-based, sorry, experience-based tip, see it in any horoscope. And for God's sake, please uh, don't just apply it on your own horoscope and give me a comment, sir, it doesn't apply in my horoscope. You are not a single person. At least test the principle in 50 horoscopes of those people who are already died or who have crossed the age of 70. A person 24 years of age commenting, sir, I have this in my horoscope, but I am not blessed. You haven't lived your life even. You are just in the egg. And not even out of it. <laughs> so don't make hasty con hasty conclusions based on that, right? It is laughable when you see one such comment. Don't, don't do this. Now the case when uh, Mercury is in the second house and Venus is in the 12th house. What is happening in this particular scenario is the person is not blessed because Venus is going to the 12th house, but the person is intelligent. This is a situation where the person is getting born in a humble background, getting born in a family which cannot support him or don't have much resources. And in this particular scenario, the person using his own intelligence have to accumulate the resources and give it to their family, give it to his family. As Venus also indicates enjoyment, this person himself cannot enjoy the things, but certainly with his intelligence, he will gain things, accumulate things, and give his, give the things to his family. So at least his family members are having a or living a very good life. Now, 311. Mercury in the third house, Venus in the 11th house. In these scenarios, you see, 311 is as I have already told in like one of the previous video in the series. 311 is, uh, you know, like more like uh, it is third house is hard work, 11th house is gain. When Mercury is in the third house and Venus is in the 11th house, generally 98% of the time in such cases, what I have seen is that the person is born in a blessed family, but he chooses a different path, right? So person is born in a good family, but he decides not to live with his family. Person is born in a good family, but because of uh, self-esteem, he decides not to take any uh, resource or any type of help from his own family, right? Or person is uh, born in a good family where the father is rich, but when the child was quite young, the mother and father have separated. Now father is rich, mother is struggling, and the person is living with the mother who is struggling and not with the father. Such cases I have seen with the Mercury being in the third house and Venus being in the 11th house. In this particular scenario, 
the person is blessed but is not using the blessings because of his own life decisions in such scenario i always advise the person to rethink on the decision that they have made and take steps accordingly this is a combination which indicates a lot of untapped unused and uh, unclaimed uh, fortunes lying in front of the person that he is not using uh, they should stop this particular thing and look for fortunes and blessings in their life and should utilize it to have a very good beautiful life that they are capable of living now the case when mercury is in the 11th house and venus goes to the third house in this particular scenario this is an andrashi the person is well learned intelligent knows how to do things he have everything but somehow there is a bad fate that is behind him or there are a few limiting factors which is stopping him from getting the complete result enjoyment happiness that venus is supposed to give them because venus is in the third house the person despite being intelligent is generally i have seen three cases in this either person is born in a very demanding humble family where he have a lot of responsibility and all his intelligence is gone in earning money and uh, you know supplement giving that money to the family only to save the family from a miserable condition whereas the person himself is not able to enjoy it first case second case what i have seen is that the person is having a very you know like uh, what what's a short sighted uh, short sighted view of life so when they earn money they quickly spend it and don't uh, want to think about future or invest it for later purpose which in turn give them a happiness which is temporary and in the long run after you know as soon as the money is replenished they have to think all over again it is like you know uh, digging a well every time you have to bring water you know har bar kuwan khod ke pani peena this is the second case in the third case what i have seen i have seen that this person are uh, these people are very much into their intellectual pursuit itself they love uh, the intellectual pursuit they love uh, chasing knowledge they love having the you know intellectual things uh, so much that they themselves renounce the that they themselves renounce the you know happiness and comforts that the life is there to offer i should add one more point <clears throat> venus mercury in a total connection which i have talked about before is bad for a family person is not that bad for a sanyasi if one is an ascetic venus and mercury being in a total total condition is a very good scenario as in the case of ramkrishna paramhans who is having venus exalted in the second house and mercury in the ascendant they are in 212 when the person is not enjoying venus because his mind mercury which is 12th from venus is not towards the enjoyment of things so for the horoscope of ascetics uh, venus mars uh, sorry mercury mars in 212 to each other is very good for normal people somehow i don't like it. venus in the 4th house from mercury and venus in the 10th house from mercury is a very rare difficult case you will generally not see it but such people are also very blessed and very fortunate in their own life <clears throat> they don't have a scarcity of anything they are blessed born in a good resourceful family intelligent enough and they continue the lineage they have the senses and mind and have the intellect to you know how to use utilize things and invest it and reap its benefit they know it very well generally such people are very successful very happy very contented that they don't consult or they don't want to consult astrologers you will only get such horoscopes when someone is your friend and just want to show it to you for the sake of you know getting your advice or opinion and this happens it is a very very rare case right like uh, two out of 70 horoscopes will have this combination right so not elaborating more on it maximum in the case of successful people you will see that mercury and venus are conjoined together specifically in the 
case of businessman because what is business you open a shop suppose it catches people people start visiting there the first influx of uh, consumer that happens by luck now you have intelligence venus conjoined with mercury you can improve yourself take feedback cash it your shop goes well good combination for business man even in the previous video where i discussed about mercury combust generally in the cases of business man you will say mercury is retrograde and combustible success through intelligence your mind is right your mind is thinking right your pattern of thinking is right and you will succeed depends on venus mercury connection venus mercury supporting each other your intelligence will lead you to happiness contentment satisfaction and you will get luxuries and all the wishes and desires that you want because this is signified by venus so venus the karga for luxury happiness comfort and ease of life if it is supported by mercury your intelligence mind thought decisions thinking pattern then there is no one who can make you stop this is the most important combination like one of the i, I cannot say exclusive right or the only rule it is one of the most important combination that you should see in the horoscope of venus man venus and venus mercury together or venus mercury in 311 to each other specifically the case where uh, venus is in the 11th house and mercury is in the third house in that scenario you will see very successful business men and in other scenario though the person can be a successful business men also in other cases as well but in that case he will be successful only at the end of the life maximum of his life will be struggling only is what i have personally seen